Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to take you through how you can make changes to your Elementor Lightbox and make it a little bit better and easily to navigate through for people who are interested in looking into your images. So let's dive straight into the video and get started. So the kind of light box settings we are going to set up for our Elementor website will look something like this. For example, when you open up your images or when someone opens up your images, they'll have the image counter show up over right here. They have the option to view the images in the, screen, in the full screen mode, zoom into the images, even be able to share those images across social media and even the option to download that image onto their computer. We will also be able to set up the size of these icons and UI colors, for example, the normal state colors and also a color on hover and also configuring the size and color of the navigation buttons. Not only that, also choosing which kind of information to show down below on the images, whether a title or a description of that image. Now to be able to do this, I already have a basic Elementor gallery widget added over here with a number of images and to be able to enable a light box for images make sure that you have the link option set to media file and not none otherwise people won't be able to open up those images in a light box now this will automatically echo the light box settings you set up in your site settings in Elementor so to do that you simply just come over here to the hamburger icon and come down below here to site settings and then you'll have the option called Lightbox over here. And here you are able to enable a Lightbox for your entire website in Elementor. And also you are able to set up a counter for the images. The counter for the images is basically what is showing up over here. So in the case whereby you disable that, and then for example, I update. Now when I open up my image, in the light box it won't have the counter showing up over here and the same applies to the full screen mode in case we disable it that means that this option over here will not show up on your light box now the same applies to the zoom option which is this and you are able to you know zoom through and navigate on the image and at the same time you can enable or disable the share option of your images for example people won't be able to share them across social media platforms just like now i've disabled it when I come over here to my preview option, you realize we have no option to share the images. Anyway, I'm going to enable it. And down below here, we have the option to choose what to display when someone opens up our image. For example, a title. You want to display a title of that image. So how do you choose a title for the image? When you come back over here to your media library and you open up any image, you realize you have the option to set up an alt text for the image, a title, a caption, and a description of that image. And now that is what Elementor is asking you to choose between these options. For example, for the title, do you want to show a title? Do you want to show a caption or an alt text for that specific image when it opens up in a light box? So that goes back to what you want to set up. And for the background color, this is what they mean by the background color when someone opens up. We can change that to any color. For example, when I change this to the secondary color, and I'm going to reduce a little bit the opacity. So when I update this, now when I open up the same image in the preview, you realize that now we have a totally different background color. I don't like this. It looks a little bit too shouting. So I can just set it back to what was there before or what I had set up before. And we have this. So now we can configure the colors for the UI. I mean, those are the colors for the toolbar icons and also the navigation icons, just like you see over here. So we can say the UI color is going to be that. That is on the default state. And on hover, we are going to have this orange or yellow. I think this is yellow or something. And then that text color can also be changed to any color that you want. So we can also make changes to the toolbar icon sizes. Now I had already set it to 30, but you can as well set that to the size of you want. For example, let me say 40 or 50. I'll open this up and you realize that now we have bigger icons on our light box. I'll set this back to 30 so that it looks really nice on mobile. And talking about the mobile, the light box settings are all mobile responsive. For example, when I come back here to our image, to our preview page i'm going to inspect this and preview it on the mobile device for example when i open up the same image in a light box boom there it shows up it shows up our light box icons over here perfect mobile responsive and the navigation now i can even set this color a little bit to be darker so that the icons are a little bit more visible so i'm going to update come back to our preview 
and now you see yeah it's a little bit darker and the icons are more visible we, we can still use the share button we can close we can zoom into the image and we can also view it on a full screen and all those options are actually at your abundance okay now let's talk about if you're using a third-party plugin to actually showcase your media library or a gallery or something i already have a widget over right here from the premium add-ons for elementor and it's called the premium media grid and by default this media grid is using a totally different type of light box let me show you how that looks like when i come over here to my site when i open this image in a light box you realize that it is showing a different sort of light box simply because it's not the default elemental light box now let me show you how to select the elemental light box so when i come back here to the elemental make sure that you have your widget from premium add-on selected and come over here to the light box option and now we have the option to click over here and select the elemental light box style now this is going to use the light box settings we have set up in our elemental settings now when i update this come back here to my preview and now when I scroll down below here to this media grid I open up the image in a light box and boom we have our elementor light box style being used on a third-party media grid widget in your elementor website we can still scroll through we can see or share the images we can zoom into the image we can share and all those options how about if you are using a single image in your elementor website can it also be viewed in a light box the answer is yes just make sure that you have that image selected and make sure that it is set to media file and not none because the media file will prompt the option to set a light box for that image so by default it is on default and by default it means that it is yes it is turned on and people can view that image in a light box so when i update or preview this image come back here to our preview page i'm going to scroll down on our single image and i click on it boom you realize that we have our light box show up we don't have the navigation icon showing up because obviously we don't have any other image in this widget also this light box for a single image will also be mobile responsive so in a nutshell that's how you can make changes to your elementor light box settings and make the user experience of your website way better than before now in case you have any questions or comments about this tutorial let me know down in the comment box below if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video give it a like because that actually helps me out thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and goodbye